السلام علیکم وٹ ایز ڈوونس ملٹی ان پٹ نوٹ یو کین گیٹ ڈوونس ملٹی ان پٹ نوٹ بائی رائٹنگ ڈوونس ملٹی ان پٹ لائک دس اینڈ نارملی وی یوز ڈوونس نوٹ اینڈ ڈو این نوٹ یو کین واچ ٹیٹوریل آف ڈوونس اینڈ ڈو این نوٹ تھرو مائی پلے لسٹ اینڈ دا ایڈوانٹیج آف ڈوونس ملٹی ان پٹ نوٹ اوور ڈوونس نوٹ ایز ان ڈوونس ملٹی ان پٹ نوٹ وی کین ایڈ as many input and output pins as we want for example if i want to add more input and output pins i can add but in and simple do once note you only have one input and one output and also in do once multi input note uh, there is reset output pin it means when you give uh, input at uh, when you uh, input at this pin that reset out execution pin will fire up and what uh, and the code which is attached to it will fire up and exec- will be executed and also you can get any notification any uh, notification that and the that this node is now resetted but in the simple do once node you don't have any uh, reset output pin and also but there is one advantage of do once node over do once multi input node and that is you can change the state default state of do once node for uh, so every do once and do once multi input input node has two states one is open and one is output so in do once multi input node the d- default state is always open it means whenever you give input here you will get output here but in do once node you can change the default state for example if you check here if you make start closed boolean as true then the uh, default state of do once node will be closed it means when you give input you will get nothing at output so first you have to reset it and then do once node will be will get into open state and after that when you give input you will get something at output so as so similarly here with do and node you don't have any reset output pin and also uh, you can't uh, change the state of node so so right now uh, i i have added two input pins one is a and b and definitely uh, a output and b input so i will give input by pressing c and you will see input a printed on s- uh, screen once once you give something at input do once multi input node will go into close state and after that when you press c when you give input at a or b or any other input pin do once multi input node will not work you will get nothing at output you must have to reset it so it means after every input at some input pin you have to reset it to make it in open state so first i will give input at a and you will see output uh, output a and then i will press f mean input b but you will see uh, we will get nothing at output so we will reset it and after that when we press in uh, f for, to give input at input pin b we will get output at output b so let's jump into our game world to see how it behaves so i have c r and f so i'm going to give first input by pressing c you see output input a and output e so it means our doing multi input node worked as we want now now when i press f you will see i will get nothing input b i'm give, giving input at input p but i am not getting any output because do once multi input node is in close state now i have to reset it now i am going to reset it by pressing r now you see i have pressed reset and i also got a uh, reset out which is attached to reset output execution pin now if i press f we will get output as well so input b and output b now if i press again c to give input now if i give input at a or b do once multi input node will not work because it's in now closed enough i have to reset it 
now it's reset it now if i give input at any uh, input pin like a or b so c the multi input uh, node will start to work so this is the uh, working of uh, duvans multi input node the only advantage of simple duvans node over multi input node is uh, duvans multi uh, duvans simple node has uh, start uh, closed and boolean node in which you can change the state default state of the node but in duvans multi input node we can't change the and default multi and default state uh, but the advantage is for example if you have uh, two or three codes running in parallel and all of them requires duvans node you have to use two or three separate duvans node and then you have to uh, reset them separately the good thing about duvans multi input node is you can attach multiple multiple codes in parallel to duvans node and and all of the all of them will uh, be, be reset it by giving single input at the reset pin and also you will get something at output uh, at the reset pin so you can know and uh, the node is now resetted and it's in open state now so that was a tutorial about duvans multi input node and the next tutorial, uh, inshallah, we will see some other note. Till then, Allah Hafiz.